Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today I've got another LEGO City update for you and it's of this LEGO store set here and today I'm going to be basically taking a quick look at this and then placing it in the LEGO City so let's jump right into it so firstly, the main thing I want to mention about this set it just looks amazing it's got loads of detailing here on the front with the LEGO store logo and everything and if I lift it up it's just got some nice little profile bricks which I've got an absolute load of for my shopping centre mock which is coming up I say soon it's probably going to be a couple of months time when I actually I might even get started on it maybe this month or next month but I'm hoping to complete it by 2023 and I know that's sounding mental but it's going to be a mentally massive mock it's going to be it's going to be like two base plates big so you can picture that it's going to be four times as wide as this lego store and you can see yeah it's going to be big but yeah so it's a really nice front to this lego store i mean it's got it is quite basic and i mean when you first see this you don't think it but if you look more into it it's just a couple of bricks and the gray layer but no it does look really nice and some of this detailing up here is really good some pieces are missing as they've got lost because i've remocked this into a modular which was inspired by i think hit the bricks hit my brick i think it's hit the bricks i'm sorry um if i've messed it up but he hasn't uploaded in a while as well because i really did like his um remocks and modulars but yeah um so that was sort of inspired by that i'm not going to show that on camera as i well, didn't film it. But yeah, you can take the floors off as well. Ooh. So it is a modular Lego store. Definitely a Lego modular Lego. You did great there. Modular Lego store. Really well. It's not like there's any bits that stick out or anything, is it? No, definitely not. Anyway, um, you can take all the floors apart. And so I'll firstly take a look at the interior details of the first floor. So, on the first floor is basically what you'd expect to see in a Lego store, plus this weird red brick thing, thingy. So, we'll do it as you sort of walk in through the front door. There you go, you see this weird red brick. What is it? It's just a carton thing, whatever. I don't know. It's a carton thing. And we've got some lovely Lego set details up here. Counter, a little Lego City, which I absolutely love. The pick a brick wall. And to make it easier, this pops out. So you can see all them. Although when I do do my actual Lego store, I think I might have two or three in the Lego City. I've already got one. I've got this one, and then there's going to be one in the shopping centre. But I don't know if I'll put this one in the shopping centre. That's all need to be decided. But um, this pick a brick wall... In my shopping centre one, this is tiny. No, basically I want to make it bigger. And my idea for that is, if I show you how big it's going to be, I did think originally of going eight wide, because that seems about right. But depending on how much space I have, going like eight tall and three wide of these one by four bricks, so it's going to be like massive. I just thought I'd be really cool, because... um. A Lego store, which isn't too far away, it's about a sort of hour on a train, is Leicester Square Lego store, which for once was the world's largest until this flagship one in New York came. But yeah, um, it's got a massive pick a brick wall. It's like, it's like my whole room of pick a brick, which is like a dream because my favourite part of Lego is the pick a brick wall or the Lego store. But yes, yeah, so that's the bottom floor. Interior details, take a look at the top floor. Now this one's a bit um, lacking in interior details, um, which is totally the opposite at Leicester Square Lego store. If you went there, I don't know if you've been, guys, any of you, if you went there, it'd look a lot like this. This is what Leicester Square Lego store looks like. This is accurate, basically, because you go there, and you walk in the bottom floor, and there's barely anything. You know, there's like a demo table, uh, the occasional set, some city stunts, because they shove it all down there. It's all the useless and bad sets they've shoved on the bottom floor at uh, Leicester Square. And all the sets, it's like the bottom floor is nothing, but then you go up to the top floor and it's like the Lego store. So say it's a two-storey Lego store, it's basically you've got your frame 
and a place to gather indoors and then you've got your lego store on top because it is really sort of i'm not going to say dull because it has got like the model of a tube and that but uh, yeah but yeah so that's the top floor it's just got your build a minifigure great um a little thing here probably with more builder minifigures some creator juniors and city and this lovely city fire truck well i say city fire truck it's massive compared to a minifigure it's the new ucs one apparently now the um emmerdale have employed me now i'm part of the lan <laughs> i wish definitely not i'm 13 but yes yeah, so that's the interior details of the upstairs but now i think it's time to place it oh and the last thing it's got some lovely roof details as well but yeah now it's time to place it in lego city so if i just this might make a noise oh, no, unplugged you guys <laughs> carry it over Ugh. if i drop this then the video is basically over but plan to put it here only temporary just to wonderful <laughs> I mean, like Bush Tech said, an unintentional drop test. Thankfully, that wasn't as bad. It could be on the floor, but it wasn't. How bad is damage? No piece has fallen off. Right. So what I'm going to do first is pop you guys on your stand. So this is what camera does. If I just look at camera, we go like, trying to pick that up, and I go... <laughs> His video is cursed. <laughs> Yeah. So this is the other thing about moving, um, using a Lego plate. It locks a lot. Right. So first thing I need to do is clear this area off, which I'm using. Right, and then just to minimise damage, take the top the two top floors off. Just peel it off. Take out the interior details. And just slowly sort of peel it off. And hope and pray. This is like what I did with the police station, but it wasn't as simple. Take that out. Just shove that on there. Right. So this is basically me just transferring all of the bricks to this table layer. I'm not going to make it any bigger or any smaller. I'm not even going to put a back on it because it's so temporary. I could. I have bought yellow bricks to. Well, I say put it back on it. I haven't bought them to put a black back on it. I've just bought them because um, for my shopping centre one. So that should then go on there. Right, yeah. Just need to shovel all that along. Get in. This does look absolutely awesome. Shove the pick brick wall back in. Go get the door, which I forgot. Right. Ugh. Old door's going to want to be a nightmare, isn't it? And then put that back on. Was it that easy? I thought I just put... Oh, it was. It was as well. Oh, wow. So that's the Lego store place. Not much of a Lego City update, but I'm going to class it as one. Because they're the content you guys most like, and they're the one I enjoy making and where I can see the channel going, basically. What the hell is that? Who knows? But yeah, there it is. Up against the beach, but who worries about that? It's only temporary, that's the thing I keep saying. What I might do is just tile it about a bit, which I'll do lovely one-handed. Just, just Actually, no, I'm not, because I have to separate them again. But yeah, so... um. I'm wasting time now, but that's all I wanted to show you guys. It It's in the city now. It wasn't built earlier, so there there it is. The other Lego store I've got is on the City of Lanterns. I don't think I've... No, I didn't do a review on this in the end. I don't know why. I'm not massive on doing reviews, but I'll, uh, I will take a in-depth look at it um, when I put it onto base plates. But this Lego store, I'm actually... Yeah, no, this is the Lego store's Lego City update. I've got to put this down. This camera is going to kill you guys. Yeah. So, this is the Lego store on the City of Lanterns. It's quite small. It's 8x8 eight eight base plate and... What? Six 
No. Five by eight on the actual shop floor. So it's not very big. You come in the front door. That's what you see. Shut it after you've been in. Then you've got some uh, amazing sets in on the interior. I think you've got like a little friends one if you can see it up there. A space, no. Yeah, a space one. Another different space one. The first Lego set. This monkey kid set on display. The sort of more littler displays. The, oh, damn, I've forgotten what it is. Oh, the one I really want. Ah, uh, can't get it. Spring Lantern Festival, that's it. An old sort of desert set. And the yellow castle down there. But you can watch other re reviews for a more in-depth one of them. Then difference to that one, it's got tiles rather than studs. But yeah, that's basically Lego Store with all some dragon on top. And I could, if I really wanted, to combine these two. Just make, basically, imagine putting that, like on there obviously i wouldn't but all the like the dragon but who knows yeah so that's been today's lego city update um if you liked it like comment and subscribe i've got a tiktok which is michael thornton dot yt instagram which is michael thornton underscore yt i'm really plugging everything i don't know why i've started doing that it's... but no I've, I've sort of started doing it a bit more because i do upload a lot on there whereas like instagram i'll pick up my phone and just do it right just sort of film a video really quickly um and same with tiktok but youtube it takes a lot more time so if you want to be more up to date instagram and tiktok are there i'm not there'll be names will be down in the description but yeah so that's been today's video i'll see you in the next one goodbye